For block 3, there's going to be an angle cut across the top. Now, there's a few thing, different things you can do depending on how you created block 2. You could modify the sketch of the top to create that angled line down, over, and back to return. You could open block 1, which I believe is going to be the easiest thing to do. I am going to have to locate my course files and open up block 1 and open. Within block 1 now, I'm going to sketch an enclosed triangle on the top view. I cannot just start here and stop here with just one line and expect the program to understand that I need to take this area out. It has to be an enclosed shape. To do that, I'm going to select Sketch. I'm going to select the top plane. Left click. I'm going to create a line and start in the corner and drop down. Now currently it's 46.3 degrees looking at the box that's floating around here. I could find the exact 45 degree or I could just drop it. I need to left click, left click, left click, left click and create my enclosed area. These distances are not necessary to change. However, if I select the dimension option, select the angle line, it brings up a dimension. To get the angle between two lines, and in this case the 45 degrees between the line I just selected and the top line, and you can see an angle dimension pops up. If I drop that angle dimension, I can now type in my necessary 45 degrees and select Enter. Finish sketch. Now this area I can now take out just as I did with the second option of block 2 by selecting the extrude, selecting exactly what I want to take out in the distance, negative. Point five. OK. File. Save as. Block 003. My course files. Save. 